know, I'm one of those people who, if you could blindfold me, I would tell you that I, this is my husband. I could smell him. I can smell my children. But you're saying that smells can actually identify people. Yeah, I'm, I'm very into, the, into body odor these days. Um, nice. <laughs> Say that's a good first line at a cocktail party. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll clear your way to the hors d'oeuvre table right, very exactly. easily. Uh, it's, uh, my original interest in smell was with animal behavior, and a lot of what animals do in their daily lives involves smell, scent marking, uh, recognizing mates, mothers and infants, and so forth. It turns out almost all of those things that animals do, we're talking about mammals now, um, we can do. So you, mothers recognize the scent of their baby's clothes versus other babies. Babies can recognize their mother, a, a nursing mother's breast pad from other uh, mothers. Um, men and women attract each other. Uh, we can tell by body smell uh, if somebody's sexually mature. Uh, we can tell from women if they're cycling. Uh, apparently, we can tell by, from smell if strippers are ovulating. Right. Uh, I, I mentioned that, and I want actually Leslie to weigh in because we were talking about the strippers. She brought it up. I didn't. I just I'm did. not I injecting it, it into the conversation. Because this is the kind of mind I have, and I see a young man in the front. So close your ears right now, earmuffs <laughs> right now. But there's a whole study out there about how strippers, when they're ovulating, get better tips. This is my favorite science. So Leslie paper. has yes. to weigh in. <laughs> so this is the, the setting is New Mexico, and it was a it was a, a carefully controlled study where, where strippers would log on to a website, report their tips, and also report where they were in their menstrual cycle, okay. and they enrolled women who were um, taking oral contraceptives and therefore were sort of flatlined for hormones, and women who were naturally ovulating. And the, 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 the results are really stunning. So women who are on the pill and don't ovulate have a very even tip trend. Those who are ovulating shoot up to a huge peak of profitability when they're ovulating, <laughs> <laughs> suggesting that they're much more attractive to their customers when they're ovulating, also suggesting that sort of subliminally the customers can tell. Or perhaps they project more sexuality themselves when they're ovulating in attempt. I've, we've been thinking about how to reproduce this, but it gets into sort of ethical issues. How do you, how do you enroll? <laughs> <laughs> the ideal thing is to enroll non-strippers and look at hundreds of people Could you imagine being the research things. assistant on that one? <laughs> <laughs>